and food has to be bought twice a week because when you buy a pepper, you know, it's not going to stay in a half-cooled fridge. You can't just buy two or three peppers or whatever you use for the week. But things I will be able to stock up on will still be lemons. I might actually be able to stock up on the romaine because the co-op is not helping me with romaine. They're not even, they quit, decided to quit carrying it, which is a hearty lettuce. It's a great lettuce to buy. And they carry the kind that goes bad after a couple of days now. So they've changed. And basically, so I have no lettuce. And this time of year, it's too hot for lettuce. You can see my garden. And you can see back in here, this piece that's sticking up, sticking way up, it's bolting. It's starting to bolt. So it's going to get used tonight. That particular plant's going to be pulled. And I'm going to pull as little as possible. I'm hoping to get a couple of, it looks like about one salad, actually, one big salad, because that's going to be my dinner salad. And I'm going to harvest that completely out, because it, otherwise it's just going to start going limp and dying, because this is too hot for it, too hot for it in here, 80s and 90s, too much. And the basil is going to stay, basil's warm weather, I've been pruning, and so as you see, uh, this is successful. These plants have not reached maturity yet, but they're growing outward instead of upward because I've been doing faithful pruning. And if I had it to do over again, I would not um, plant these plants so close together. I do like cramming them in. There's two theories, cram as many in as you can in the pot or space them out. I would go down the middle of the road. I wouldn't cram them in but I wouldn't space them out. I'd go down the middle of the road so I have more room to like prune and clean out the bad leaves and water so I don't wilt leaves, things like that. And one thing about lettuce is when you're growing lettuce, it's not good to turn around and like next year replant lettuce in the same spot. So this lettuce is going out. I'm gonna have two thirds of this window box left and the basil's gonna stay in and expand. And then um, through my buying club, I had a few more dollars to make the minimum order. And I was looking up beans. And instead of giving me beans in my search, they gave me live stevia, organic stevia plants. So I'm going to be doing that, and I'll be adding stevia leaves. I'll be using straight stevia from the plant as a sweetener instead of the extract. And that's the best form of stevia you can have. I mean, it, then it becomes a, more of a blood sugar stabilizer. It's just an excellent, like, superfood then. It's wonderful. And another thing that I'm growing is broccoli sprouts. I'm starting them in the jar. Now, one thing with my situation the way it is, you can't really grow s sprouts in the jar because I don't have refrigeration that's good enough to, you know, keep them after they're done. So what I'm doing is, I start them enough to get them onto the baby's blanket in this tray, and then I cover the tray and spray, and I'm leaving it open now so they can get chlorophyll. And tonight I'm going to use some and then let the rest get to maturity. And broccoli sprouts is like all the benefits of broccoli, all the, you know, all the disease-fighting benefits on steroids. It's like a wonderful, wonderful superfood. It's top one of the top of the list superfoods. So I'll be having those a lot, and they're easy to grow, and all my sprouts are going to stay in uh, trays, and that way I'm not going to have to, you know, try to get any cooling. And then the um, celery, the one that I had over here, that one um, turned into a big bush, and then the one heat day just really got to it, and it just shriveled up and died. Celery doesn't like heat. I've noticed like certain times like when, you know, I had it over 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 there and the uh, heat got it from the heater, it would just die. So this one, this plant looks horrible. I'm just going to remove it. And this plant doesn't look that great either, like it's doing that well. This plant is actually small celery stalk, so it looks pretty good. It's, it's looking like celery to me. So, I don't know. That one may make it and become celery. I don't know. But that's it for the gardening and all that update about that. And if you like, hit like, subscribe, share, comment, and have a great day.